What is up YouTube? This is Trent here with another YouTube video today. Uh, I'm sorry, but it's been a few days since I've posted anything. I got nothing in the mail Wednesday, nothing in the mail Thursday. Uh, the mail has not ran, has not ran yet today. Um, if I did anything, I'll probably go ahead and show it tonight. Uh, maybe tomorrow, just whenever I get around to it. Um, but I'm going to be showing you my entire autograph ticket collection today uh so the, the first my first video is gonna be my basketball and football tickets the autograph and then my second video is going to be just baseball uh so i'll go ahead and get started now uh first one is going to be a four ticket sign by this dude this is by uh this is gonna be of Ole miss basketball coach andy kennedy uh, these do not turn out the best. I think the Sharpies started to die a little bit. Uh, one of them, not smudge, but can't complain. So. That's the first one. Uh, here's the second. Here's the third. And this is the one that smudged a little bit. So. Okay, next one is of former Ole Miss QB, Bo Wallace. Uh, this is a Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl signed ticket. Uh, Bo Wallace is now the QB coach at East Mississippi Community College. Uh, so here's the next one is this is a Sugar Bowl ticket signed by Greg Little. Uh, I did not mean to get this signed by him. I think I actually meant to meant to get this ticket signed by Wormy Tunzel, I think. But uh, and Greg Little didn't even play in this game. Uh, he was the number two overall recruit in football last year. Uh, number one offensive tackle. Uh, well, number one overall player was Rashad, Rashad Gary that went to Michigan. Gray Willow was number two, came to Ole Miss. Uh, he he didn't start the whole year. He started some. He was on the bench most of the time. But, um, I, think this, I think he has a chance of being pretty good. And he gets a little bit older. Um, and he's, he's pretty big and... He does need to lose a little bit of weight. He is kind of slow coming off uh, when he first starts blocking. But, uh, if he did a little faster, I, th I think he'd be pretty good. He is kind of pretty strong. So. Okay, next one is I got four tickets signed by this dude too. This is a now former Ole Miss football coach, He Freeze. That is a. Uh, 2014 Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl ticket signed by him. Okay. Uh, got two of these Sugar Bowl tickets signed by him. And then I got a Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl ticket signed by him. Uh, this one actually turned out really good. The other one is just okay, but... Uh, can't complain. Um, the next two players I'm gonna be showing you, uh, both of these are TTM successes. Uh, this first dude actually sent out two tickets to him, but he only signed one. Uh, this is a former Ole Miss QB and New York Giants QB. It's coming in from Eli Manning. Uh, this turned out really beautiful. Uh, I love it when Eli Manning does his full signature. Uh, always turn out really good. Uh, he don't do it nowhere as much as he used to, but when he does, they look beautiful. I really, really love that one right there. And I'm send the other one again sometime next few months. So. Okay, next one, I got seven tickets signed by this dude. Uh, first time I sent out four, two in the mail, and the second time I sent them three. Uh, I mean, this dude, he will sign autographs for you. Um, it might take six months, a year. I think I heard some people take a year and a half. Uh, 
he died to be patient with this dude. <laughs> but I think he took, I think it took me, I know at least six months. It might have been seven or eight, but I can't complain, sign all. Seven of them, this is coming in from former Ole Miss linebacker, 49ers, well, former 49ers linebacker Patrick Willis, uh, his autograph, number 40, well, he put number 49 on five of them, uh, his college number, and then put 52, his NFL number on the other two, and he put always believe on all of them. Uh, so. All these turned out really good. Okay, that is it now for the basketball and football autograph tickets I got. Uh, I'm going to be posting the baseball one later on today. Uh, pretty good names. You don't want to miss. Uh, got a former first overall pick. A top 20 pick in last year's draft. Uh, so another one went like top 40 in the draft last year. Um, some pretty good names so uh, you don't want to miss. So, uh, please like, subscribe, comment. I uh, hope everyone has a good day and I'll talk to you later.